name is Jesse. This is Jesse OBS YouTube channel, and today we have something very informative for anyone wanting to know. Today we will be discussing the costs, the obstacles, the triumphs, I guess, and really anything that has to go or has to do with into converting your automatic transmission C1500, K1500, anything Chevy OBS really that has a 5.7 behind it into a manual transmission. Now, it could seem scary at first, but it's really not that hard or expensive at all. Speaking of that, let's dive right into costs first. So what I've done is I've taken screenshots of basically everything that I've ever bought, really. Let's start first with the actual transmission. Here I have a conversation with the guy just for proof so y'all can see. Of course I'm going to black out his information or whatever, but I'll throw that up right now. Um, basically, it was $200. The whole transmission. He threw in the transmission, uh, clutch pedal, uh, the shifter, this shifter, and the drive shaft. He threw in all of those for $200. So right off the bat, we're at 200 bucks. Well, now, does that vary, you know, with, you know, people? Like, it could be more expensive where you are, depending on your luck or whatever, but, um, or cheaper, you never know, depending on your luck or whatever. But, um, 200 bucks, right off the bat. Next, after you find your transmission, what you want to do is you want to just go ahead, even if the guy throws in the old clutch, the old pressure plate and flywheel, even if you do find a deal like that or whatever, don't do that. Go ahead buy all brand new hardware do it right the first time you're already gonna have it taken apart right there you might as well and on uh, rockauto.com which I'm pretty sure most of y'all know they have a complete clutch kit I'll throw that up right now um, it's the whole complete clutch kit it comes with a clutch the flywheel and all the hydraulics and everything I'm zooming in on the picture this is the exact one I bought it comes with a clutch alignment tool it comes with the bearings it comes with a brand new pressure plate a brand new clutch and it's all like good stuff so I mean and here it even says they have a $25 discount so rock out while cool. editing I realized that I had completely forgot to include the price and part that is the clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder it's all one thing and that costed $129.89 at AutoZone I got the receipt right here in front of me. So, yeah, include that. And that costed $186.79. That leaves you at $386.79. With our new edition, that leaves us now at $516.68. Sorry for the inconvenience and not remembering in the video. And if my voice sounds weird right now, it's because it's 1.24 a.m. and I'm editing this video. <laughs> That's what you left off so far, which is still pretty dang cheap. And after you have all that, assuming that you bought the entire clutch kit and assuming that you could find all the hardware that you need, being the transmission, clutch pedal, shifter, and drive shaft. You need all four of those components, all four of them. Now, assuming you found all four and you have all four and you bought the um, appropriate hardware, meaning the or the equipment, I guess, the um, uh, flywheel, pressure plate, and and clutch, sorry, and clutch. <laughs> Can't forget about the clutch. Next thing I did, this is optional, but I still recommend it because this stuff is not expensive at all. I bought everything brand new hardware. Now, I'm going to throw this up, but I'm going to block out my information because I know y'all trying to dig in my pockets. <laughs> but um, uh, I'll throw it up right now. See all these like $1, $2, $3, um, two dollar, three dollar, two dollar. This is all. This is me. There's there, to make a long story short. There's a very, there's a very good hardware store near our mechanic shop. And that's another thing. If y'all don't have a mechanic shop, it's gonna be kind of hard. And this is all assuming you're gonna do it all yourself. But it wouldn't be that hard. You just need to find a good space to do it in. But anyone can do it. But um, uh, at that hardware store, they sell bolts. They have, it's bolt heaven, all brand new stainless steel bolts, any bolt you need, any bolt you need. So what I would do is I got the pressure plate bolts and I went and I, you know, showed them an example of what I wanted and they went and they got me all brand new ones. When I went to go put um, uh, the bell housing bolts on, I went, got brand new bell housing bolts with them. 
I got all brand new bolts for everything I did, for the differential, for the bell housing, for the pressure plate, for the all brand new bolts, even for the clutch pedal when you put it right here, which we'll talk about later on in the obstacle segment of this video. We got that all brand new. Buy brand new hardware. It costed me maybe, man, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just round it up to like twelve dollars. You kidding me? Twelve dollars for some brand new hardware. Do it. After that, you're set. Now, let's kind of dive into the obstacles and let me warn you about mistakes that I made so that you don't make them and your process goes a little more smoothly. My process took, whoo, like two years. It took me two years to get this down right because there's no one like me on YouTube right now. I'm the first. I'm telling you how to do it. There's no forums. I've looked everywhere. I looked for... There's countless nights of me searching desperately for any kind of information or guidance or anything, and there's nothing. So um, uh, that's why I'm taking it upon myself to actually make this video and, like, stamp it. The first obstacle was the transmission that I had originally bought. Because if y'all go back and watch my videos, I have a whole playlist on um, uh, me doing this manual swap. The original transmission I had bought was the wrong one. I know that all um, uh, Chevy bell housings, they all bolt up, and I know that. But there's two types of manual transmissions for this truck. Three, actually, but I think that other third one will work. Don't take my word for it, but I think that other third one will work. But there's one that I know for sure, 1,000%, will not work because we battled trying to put it in for months and months and months. I never uploaded that because that's boring and that's terrible, but we battled months trying to get this one transmission that I had bought put in because the spline count, I guess, for the input shaft that goes into the transmission was just different, and it didn't work. It's called the NV3500. Those, I'm assuming, can only bolt up to 5.7 Vortex and up. Not the TBIs. I'm assuming. Because on this TBI, it didn't want to go in at all. We had the clutch alignment tool and everything. And it didn't want to go in even a little bit at all. So, when you get the transmission, make sure it is not the NV3500 if you have a 5.7 TBI. Not a Vortec, a TBI. Do not get the NV3500 because it will not bolt up at all. There's going to be about this much space. I'm guessing, the, I'm, I guess I could have cut that, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to modify the freaking transmission, you know? There's about this much space between the bell housing and the, um, uh, and the actual um, uh, block. So, no NV3500. There's an older looking one. It's, the NV3500 is kind of like skinny at the base. And it goes back like this. The older ones, I forgot what they were called. They had told me, but I'm, um, uh, shoot, I forgot what they were called. It doesn't matter. They're, like, way fatter. It's a noticeable difference. It just looks older. You know what I'm saying? The NV3500 looks new, you know? And then I guess the other transmission is the one that came on, like, the 4x4s or something like that, which I think could fit. You just have to mess with, like, the transfer case and stuff like that. But I don't recommend it. Just get the regular two-wheel drive one. But, um, uh... Yes, it looks older. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It looks older. Like, look, I'll probably throw up the pictures of the one that I actually bought. Like, right now, while I'm speaking. It has, like, a fatter base. Like, the top looks a little more, like, coney. And then the rear has, like, this little plate. Like, a big old plate in the back. And a little tiny, tiny small tail. That's the one you need. So that was one obstacle that I had. That's pretty That's the main obstacle, really, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, the next obstacle was the clutch pedal. The clutch pedal, 9.9999 times out of 10. When you buy a clutch pedal, when you get this transmission, the clutch pedal, like return spring or the spring, will be broken. Always, man. They're all broken. Now, once again, I was doing this on my own. I could not find. I was looking at forums to see, hey, I was seeing the dealerships. Or, man, I was desperate. I was looking everywhere for that spring to see if I can find one. And there is none. You probably have to go to some welding guy or something, I don't know, to get you to make it, like, custom. Because they don't exist. They don't exist anymore, I guess. I don't know. But so what we ended up doing was, um, and I have a whole video. You go back to that playlist, you'll see I have a whole segment, a whole series of how I did this. And in one video, what we had to end up doing, me and David, actually, specifically, what we did is we grabbed that, that uh, same spring and we said, so we can't find another one and it's obviously broken at the tip. Let's make this little line longer. So what we did is we kind of pushed the spring back like that. And I have a video showing how we did it. 
And then um, uh, it was good. Now the clutch pedal will return on its own without having to use the um, uh, clutch master cylinder, the little pin that goes in the clutch master cylinder. So we bent it back, and then what we had to do was we had to weld a little um, uh, nut. Well, we chose a nut. You could put anything. You could super glue a piece of freaking wood if you wanted. It doesn't matter. But the point is, kind of like, kind of make something, put something on top of the surface to bring the surface closer to that um, uh, spring so you don't have to bend it back as much because the more stress and tension you put on that old ass spring, you know, there's a possibility it could break. Not that that's catastrophic either way because remember, that's just, that's basically just to help your clutch pedal, to put a little, to put less stress on your um, clutch master cylinder. But it'll work without the, without the spring and just the clutch master cylinder. And it'll give your pedal like a, like a firmer feel. So that's one obstacle. The clutch uh, pedal spring, that, that, was, that was another big obstacle that we had to figure out. The next obstacle, the clutch pedal itself. Once we were done with it and it was time to install, you know, we had the transmission in, this right here, we had the transmission in, the drive shaft was in, the clutch master cylinder was in, the slave cylinder was hooked up and everything. It was beautiful, it was done. We were like, okay, now it's time for the clutch pedal. We we're gonna put it on and uh, there was really no OEM holes, so I mean, we didn't know where to put it. So obviously what you have to do is you have to cut holes into the firewall right there. It's like in the, if you're standing in front of the truck, it's in the top right hand corner, right there. You make little holes, you make a big hole for the little, for the little pin to go through, and you make two little holes on the side for the, for the little uh, threads of the um, uh, clutch pedal to go through. You know, then you can thread up your, nut up <laughs> your um, uh, clutch master cylinder. That wasn't the hard part. We made the holes, we put it right there, we put it generally where it needs to be, and then we were like, okay, now how are we going to bolt this up to the truck? There's no holes for it. So we were kind of lost, we kind of didn't know what to do. My uncle was telling me that he read or he knew, because you know, he's like an old head, an old school guy. He was like, yeah, you got to drop the dash, and after the dash, there should be some holes or something like that. He, ain't nobody going to do that. So we were like, man, he said, no, it's impossible. You can't do it unless you drop the dash. And I was like, I'm not dropping the dash. So I was like, okay, let me look. The dash has a metal bar going through it in the back. Through that metal bar, we got some thick ass self-tapping screws that we got them. That's one of those charges that I threw up a little bit ago. And we did, we just sent it with a Milwaukee man all the way in. And then um, we had a clutch pedal. It was in, it was installed. We tested it, it works great. Look, it's right in front of me. I'm using it. Now you have costs, obstacles, and the triumph over those obstacles, which is pretty much all you need. As you can tell, this is a pretty, this is a fairly simple process. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, you shouldn't have any problem really at all. Oh, another thing. You're going to have to cut a big ass hole through your floorboard. You're going to have to cut a big ass hole for the shifter to go through. Now, lucky, luckily enough for anyone who wants to do this, any of us really, they, Chevy, when they make these cabs, they make them already pre-cut. There's, there's a pre-indention of the, um, um, how big that hole you're supposed to cut is, actually is. So all you have to do is go with a freaking um, a saw, a little circle, a wheel saw thing, and cut it out, and that's it. So it's super simple, don't even worry about it. But um, yeah, now y'all know exactly how much it's gonna cost, what you need, the obstacles that may come in your way. But now you know gotta fix them because I already went through it for y'all. And I told y'all how to do it. If I were to do this all over again, what I would do first is I would order the cold clutch kit. I would do that first. And then after I do that, I would go and find this transmission. Now you can go to junkyards, because even the ones at the junkyard, they should be good. Man, transmissions, they're, they're not like automatic transmissions. These, they're built to last. They're built to take a beating, you know? As long as they're well concealed and not exposed to any elements, there's no rust in there, because that's terrible for the transmission, obviously. Um, they're, they're freaking tanks, man. They're bulletproof. So you can find one at a junkyard. You can find one on an offer up. It doesn't matter. If it's a main transmission, it was concealed, and you know there's no rust on the inside, get it. It's good. Don't worry about it. Well, obviously, check and make sure that all the gears go through and the synchros are not fucked or whatever. Thanks, bro. Um, could go and send it to go and get rebuilt or whatever if you honestly wanted to, but it's not absolutely necessary. And then the transmission with its dry shaft and its clutch pedal, get it from a truck that has all of that. You need to do that. Um, the automatic transmission uh, drive shaft will not go into this yoke right here. The yoke will not go into this um, 
tail tail shaft of this manual transmission. It won't. This one requires like a big old big old yoke. It's like a big old bar that goes into the um, transmissions, and the ones for the automatic is like really skinny, so you can't do that. The transmission and equipment, and I got the brand new uh, parts, meaning the whole clutch kit, the brand new clutch kit. Then I would have it all right there next to me, and I would take out one bolt of everything. One bolt of everything. Your pressure plate should come with new bolts. You don't have to do it. They're stainless steel, and they're beautiful. But um, I would take one bolt of everything you know you're going to unbolt, meaning like the transmission, meaning the um, uh, the differential little bolts, meaning the any bolt that you know is going to come off, take off one. Go to a nearest hardware store, count how many you're going to need before you go to the hardware store, and get brand new hardware. Stainless steel, everything, nothing else. Stainless steel, get brand new hardware. I recommend it, trust me. And then in one day, have like a friend or two, go, drop your automatic trans. I have a whole video on how to drop your automatic transmission, actually, if you want to go see it. It's also in that segment. It's actually the first video I said we're doing the manual swap on. So I have. if you want to go, reference to that video, do that. Go, drop it, put your brand new transmission with the clutch with the clutch alignment tool and the flywheel and the pressure plate and all that. I'd do that, drive shaft, I'd make the hole right here because I already know where it is. Bolt right there into the into the dash's little metal bar. And last, to top it all off, after I'd put the clutch pedal, I would go and I would put the clutch master cylinder and wrap it all the way around, put the slave cylinder right there at the bottom of the transmission where it's supposed to go, and dude, fill the transmission up with oil, and you're about ready to rock and roll. You now have a manual truck. Now, I'm pretty sure I didn't cover everything. I'm pretty sure other people are going to run into different things. And uh, so if you ever do run into a problem or whatever, go ahead. You can DM me at Jesse, J-E-S-S-E underscore O-B-S on Instagram. I respond to every single DM. I never leave nobody on um, uh, delivered or open or nothing. I respond to everybody. Or you could just make it more convenient for yourself. You can uh, comment on this video. And uh, I respond to every single comment. There's no one that can say they commented on my um, uh, YouTube channel and they did not get a response. Even the haters, they get a response as well. I usually kill them with kindness. Go ahead, let me know. I'm here to serve you. You let me know. And uh, I'll help you out on whatever I can. Let me know. Thank you for watching the video. Take care and have a blessed day.